The trial has begun for the former Rochester City Court Judge Leticia Estacio. Estacio was accused of violating her DWI probation after trying to buy a shotgun at two sporting goods stores. Deputies say both stores denied that sale, but they add that that attempt in and of itself is a crime. Josh Navarro is in Syracuse following the case for us. Prosecutors say one of the conditions involving Astacio's probation was prohibiting her of possession of a dangerous weapon. However, the defense says a shotgun doesn't fall under that classification. Firearm is defined in different ways throughout the law. It depends on what law you're looking at. There's different definitions under federal law. There's different definitions under state law. Um, the state law is, is consistent. As far as the state law goes, a shotgun is not included. Prosecutors argue that she agreed and signed her probation conditions when she was convicted of a DWI. One of those conditions prosecutors say she violated prohibits her from possession of a dangerous weapon. In court, it was revealed she went to two Dick Sporting Goods stores after her attorney, Mark Afodi, says she received death threats on social media. The store in Greece denied her sale based on her demeanor, and then she went to another store in Henrietta, where a clerk handed her a shotgun to hold for a few seconds and gave back to her. She also was denied sale. We, we all hold items, and, and the, the possession of items isn't the same as purchasing an item. Um, obviously, there are certain facts that the jury is going to consider in this case in terms of when the possession took place uh, in relation to everything else, and, and they'll have to make decisions based on that. But uh, our position all along since the beginning of this case and still now is that, no, this wasn't, there was no purchase that was made, and it doesn't even constitute an attempted purchase. But the arguments in that regard will come later in trial, and it's, it's sort of now is not the time for me to get too far down that road. Asasio's probation officer and the two sales associates from Dick Sporting Goods were the first witnesses to take the stand. Trial continues tomorrow morning in Syracuse. I'm Josh Navarro, News 8. Hey, Josh, thank you. The Dick Sporting Goods manager is expected to take the stand tomorrow for day two of the trial.